Welcome to Pai. So, I've spent a lot of time in Thailand, and I've heard a lot of things about Pai, and this is my very first time to ever visit the great mountain town of Pai. Pai is a small town in the Mehong Sun province of Thailand. It is in the mountains about three hours outside of beautiful Chiang Mai. It is popular with both foreigners and Thais, and makes for a great quiet getaway. It's a particularly great place for backpackers. The hotel room wasn't huge, but it was definitely comfortable. And although it was just a room, it had a similar vibe to like a quiet weekend getaway at a lake house. <laughs> After checking in, I found a lovely restaurant to eat just right across the street from my accommodation. The food was quite delicious. Hi right, guys, I got my pad seal. We got a little lime we can squeeze on top of that. Look at that. After I finished eating, I went out to the Santi Chon village. There were very few people there, it almost felt like a ghost town. Although, they still had some people there, and they had various games that you could play, like archery. And archery was a lot of fun, I got to shoot a couple arrows. They also had a couple of swings, they had some really weird ride. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, how to use that? Right, let me see if I remember. Harder, but a little off target. <laughs> no, that's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty embarrassing. If I were at war, I would not have been a good soldier. No, you would die. <laughs> oh. Ooh, well, that was that was a good shot, but it didn't stick. <laughs> it's not even your target. <laughs> For the most part, everything here was super slow, super chill, super relaxed. I really liked getting to take a break from the big city and enjoy the slow pace of life in the rural mountains and countryside. There was a nice lake. There were several little houses that looked similar to adobe style. There's also a Chinese-style fortress at Santi Chong Village where you can explore, you can go along the ruins, you can, you can go along the castle walls, you can go up the stairs, you can overlook the entire Santi Chong Village as well as uh, other parts of Pai. So you can get a really magnificent view.
later on that day in the evening, I decided to head off on my motorbike and I walked a long trail up to the Yunlai viewpoint. All right guys, so I got my tickets and with just this, you can get a magnificent view. At Yunlai viewpoint, the view was spectacular. You could overlook the entire town of Pai. You could overlook the mountains and their peaks. You could see very, very far away. You could not see all the way to Chiang Mai, but uh, just the overlook of the Pai countryside, the northern Pai countryside, it was like something out of this world. And it was just a, a very happy place to be. On the way back, I needed gas, so I was able to find a little local shop. There weren't any gas stations nearby, but uh, there was a guy that had his own pump, what I had to choose for an option because my motorbike really needed some gas. So I was able to make it back to Pi, and later on that night, I decided to hit it at the Pi Walking Street. They had so much street food, so many snacks. They also had a, a large selection of different sit-down restaurants, as well as family-run hole-in-walls and of course the street stalls. <laughs> 